Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello. My name is LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a very simple lifestyle vlog where I get here every morning and I try to uplift, encourage, and inspire as many people as I possibly can. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am the divorced mother of three adult children. I have two boys and a girl. I am a United States Navy veteran. I'm also a surgical tech. I am disabled and I work full time here now from my home. I am a hustler. That's right, I'm a hustler. I get up every day and I work. I do something for my YouTube channel every single day and I love what I do. I love to help people, uplift people, encourage people and talk about the love of the Lord. That's right. So this is my new intro. So here I am, <laughs> and if you like what you see, click like, share, comment, and come back here on a daily basis. So, here's today's video. Hey YouTube, this is LaShawn, and I like to start and end my day with prayer. I do that every single day, and I'm learning as I get older, as time eases by, that it's a type of peace that I cannot even put into words. All I, don't, all I do, all I think about is praying and being grateful because I have been through a lot. And all I know, all I do is pray, pray, pray without ceasing. I do it because I have found that God is with me. He is in my heart. He is all around me. He is in my apartment. He is through living through my children and everything I touch, this YouTube channel. And I know that his presence is powerful in my life. And I know that I've been through a lot of medical issues, uh, traumatic issues, and just life issues. And if you don't have a strong faith, and if you don't pray, and if you don't understand how powerful God's presence is, your days can sometimes seem overwhelming. So I woke up this morning and I was thinking about that because I am not sure what's going on, but I am lethargic. I can't get any energy together. I am trying desperately. I cannot get an appointment before the 29th. Uh, and also, my aid doesn't start for another seven days. So I am literally and figuratively alone. And so I have to pull strength that I didn't even know I had in order to get through some tough days. But even more than that, I have to focus on all of the things that I'm thankful for. And I have to focus on all of the things that I'm grateful for. So this video is simply a reminder for all of you, all of you in the positive patch all of you watching this video who needs to be uplifted encouraged empowered and motivated this morning to give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you you know what I'm saying how often do we find ourselves in really hard situations I mean, in difficult, difficult situations that we would much rather be someplace else or maybe could escape it or get away from it. But you know what I have learned? I have learned that even when you are in the midst of a difficult situation, it is really possible to focus on thankfulness, even in a dire situation, because that is your best outcome. That is your best solution, is to focus on all of the thankful things and the grateful things that you can focus on. You know, you can sit in your house and be depressed. You can sit in your house and be negative. Or you can be filled with the joy and thankfulness and gratefulness that is just a Bible verse away. And that's why I read my Bible. 
that's why I find ways to be thankful. You know, uh, I am just so grateful. And I scribble things down and I go back and read a Bible verse that I hope that'll help me get through a difficult time. Because in all areas of my law, in my life and at different times in my life, I'm, I've always scribbled things down. I've always said, this is what I'm grateful for. And I'll scribble down, oh, this is what I'm thankful for. I always make a list of things. I don't know. Is it OCD? Who knows? I like to do it. I've always been a writer. I've always liked to scribble things down because I'm always thankful and I'm always grateful. That's what I try to focus on. And as days go by and weeks go by, I try to add items as they come to me. I try to add things I'm thankful for. I try to add things I'm grateful for as they are affecting me on a daily basis. And you know what? At last count, I had so many. I don't even know. I'm sure I'm at about a thousand now as I get older. But what I'm grateful for today, what I'm thankful for today is that even though with all this pain that I'm experiencing, my mind is clear and I will be able to sit and read my Bible. So I said, you know what, let me make this video. I'll record myself reading the Bible so that I can remind somebody in a positive patch today. I can remind somebody on YouTube today that God is with you. You have to remember to give thanks for all the things that you're thankful for. You know, sit down, be grateful. And instead of asking for specific things, just think about all the things that you are happy and grateful for. Because those are the things that if you took the time to focus on, you'll be like, wait a minute, what was I upset about? Wait a minute, what was I worried about? You won't even remember because God is with you. He was with you when you were going through that difficult time. And he is with you right now today as you wake up this morning. So remember, like I said, pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. It's too many things that could go wrong. But if you focus on all the positive things, all of your worries will go away. I'm just so grateful this morning for all of you for coming and reading the Bible with me today. And I thank you so much for taking the time to stop and say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father God. I thank you for another day, Father God. I thank you for waking me up this morning. I thank you for my three children. And I thank you for letting me read this Bible today. So if you haven't already, please take a moment to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, at this time, we're going to breathe in and breathe out and get our day started. You ready? Breathe in, breathe out. We thank you, Father, for another day. We are so internally grateful, Father God. We woke up this morning. Thank you for that, Father God. We know that there are some people hungry. We know that there are some people who didn't wake up this morning. So we thank you, Father. We give you all praises. Okay? So wherever you're headed today, wherever you got to go, to work, to school, maybe you have a doctor's appointment, it doesn't matter. Be happy. Be joyful. Put a smile on your face and treat people with respect. It's the only way to live, okay? So have a good day. Have a blessed day. And remember, God loves you, and so do I. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon.